Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Army Black Knights and the Indiana Hoosiers. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, when you're the underdog, you got to come out and play with such fire. you got to simply tell them upsets happen when a three-star player plays like a five-star player, plays with intensity, emotion, and passion. The Hoosiers are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for them tonight, Dick? Yeah, tonight like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First, get the ball out of the interior. See if he can get that big man into foul trouble. Second of all, beware of turnovers. Protect the basketball. You want to minimize the amount of free possessions that you give to the opposition. Lastly, play solid fundamental defense. And don't get caught gambling. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. He keeps his dribble as they reset. The shooting guard with the ball. He takes the shot from the baseline. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Time to pick up the defense here now. It's stolen. Gave it up. Tries for two. The ball goes out of play. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. On the outside, the point guard takes the feed. Goes. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. He shoots from right of the circle. Martin makes a tray. Puts up the tray, drains the shot. Up and inside. The crowd really admires this young man. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. He drains the bucket. Watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound in position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Watch your head, young fella. They get the turnover. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. They go into the low block. He does the sweet fake shot. Nelson pump fakes. For the bucket, in and out. Looking for contact. Hit the replay button on that one. <laughs> Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter with the fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Now trying to feed the low block. He looks for three. He nails the bucket. That's a seven nothing run. When I think of home court advantage, this is what I see and this is what I hear. 
The crowd's fired up, and I'm sure the team is too. Well, he's had some success, and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. Looking for a good shot. He goes for three. He buries it. to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Sets the screen for his teammate. Fake. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Yeah, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For two, perfectly executed. On the dribble, gives it up. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Oh, what a strip, Rad. Tries for two. Indiana have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Rad. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. He gets the bucket to fall. The power forward gets the pass. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Dump it inside. Defense playing up. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Thomas in the paint. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. on top controlling the ball stolen away Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there I think doing a great job fronting him trying to beat him to the spot playing in front making him throw the lob pass over the top if you get help you can take that pass away the frustration right there with a deep pass for the bucket Great play to take that to the basket. Mm -hmm. 
Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? The crowd is enjoying this close one. The fans are just waiting for the favorites to pull away. But will it happen here tonight? All right, thanks, Aaron. From left of the circle, way off target. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student section looks like they're having a great time. They're working around the perimeter. He throws it up from downtown. Got it. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Questionable shot selection there. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. The Hoosiers have a special roster, which I know you're in love with, Dick. Oh, their roster is pretty special, Brad. You know why? Because of the seniors, the leaders, the dependable ones. They're so important. On the outside, on the dribble, gives it up, gave it up. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Looking for a good shot. Entry pass in the paint. Double team now, bad angle. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the dribble, gives it up for two. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Stolen away. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. And a momentary look from three-point land. They work the perimeter. On the top of the circle, knocks down the three. But inside. He looks for the bomb. Scorches the net. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He takes a three. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling on all cylinders right now. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Look at that spacing. He shoots from right in the circle. Off the rim and no good. And he'll kick it back outside. He lets it go, drains it. That's an eight-nothing run. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They move it into the front court. And one too many dribbles and a steal. Gave it up. And we got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. <laughs> the
the Hoosiers go to the line for the first time in this game. It's the first. Indiana are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Both free throws go. They scored 10 in a row. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm trying to freak out of position, trying to get eye, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. In the paint. Tries for two. The Hoosiers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brad, he's on fire. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Got a wide open look. On the dribble, gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Moving it around the perimeter. Strips the ball. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chilled. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. He waited for the screen and dropped in a nice inside hoop. Set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. And he missed. Up and inside. Dick is doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. On the dribble, gives it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Went away from the post and goes the other way. For two, perfectly executed. because that tells me right there they don't respect them as an offensive player and they made an error obviously but they don't have the great respects that were saying you know what let him get the ball and let him try to beat us on the outside and the fans here are loving the action you're right the student sections the bands and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man They're working around the perimeter Ten on the shot clock. He used the screen to create the space for the score on the inside. Oh, 
Here's a double team. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Turns it over. He takes the shot way off target. He shows the sweet touch. They work the perimeter. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> and a momentary look from three-point land. With anticipation defensively. Leans in. Great shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Kick it back outside. Dickey's going to go up strong. Oh, that's a terrific post play. Didn't waste any time attacking the basket. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? the top of the key. The Black Knights have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. There's a double team waiting there. With a big shot. Misses the three. At the end of the first half, the Black Knights trail by 25. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Indiana gave a great rebounding performance in the first half of this one, partner. I'll tell you, great effort and great poise. That's a sign of a championship team, if you ask me. We always love it when underdogs play well. They didn't in the first half, Dick, and they're going to have to pull out a miracle here in the second half. They're really going to have to really, really regroup and come out with some fire and get some momentum. It's essential they go on a spurt to get some confidence. If they don't get a spurt, hey, Brad, you got all your material ready? Because we're going to have to hit and talk about everything, baseball, basketball, football. Hey, who's going to win the Super Bowl? off dumps it in picked out of the air now coming down with numbers tries for two perfectly executed and the ball goes out of play Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. Gets a hand in the way. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He shoots from the top of the key. It sticks. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great.
Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. There's the trap. He tries to knock down the three. There was no doubt about that one. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. He's got a nice shot fake. Gave it up. This is what you're supposed to do down low is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. On the inside, number 45 with the fake. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from the top of the key. He buries the shot. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. And he scores despite the hack. This defender is resilient, still applying pressure. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Dick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Working it around the perimeter. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. He goes to the line for the first time. Hits the first shot. He converts on that free throw line, and that's major. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. From downtown. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Looking to move it around the perimeter. And the jam. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. And I think she's right about that, Richie. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. With plays like that, you need instant replay. Jump hook from the low block. The Hoosiers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. And he's on fire. Steal. 
Defense got it after knocking it loose. Tries one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. The senior leader puts it in, plus one. He made a big basket right there at the right time, Brad. The momentum is on their side. High fives, chest bumps. We're seeing it all now. Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. That's an eight zip run. Stolen away. With a long bomb. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. ready to start again. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From the baseline. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. There he is, strips the ball loose. Nice hops. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Hammers it down. Gave it up. The small forward handles the feed for the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. They work the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Great play to take that to the basket. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. The mayhem is off the charts, Brad. Good fake. Goes up for two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Steals a pass. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Dump it inside. For two. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet jug. Terry look from three-point land. And the ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, the favorites tonight have exposed the opponent's weaknesses and capitalized on defensive stops. And what a display and show they put on tonight. Thanks, Aaron. With a little baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Oh, 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Robs him of the ball. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks it. Great. There's the block. They just keep shutting the door. He pump fakes. On the dribble, gives it up for the bucket. Perfectly executed. On the outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Here. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. The Hoosiers usually play a certain type of basketball. They're a physical bunch. If you can't escape without bruises, consider yourself lucky. in the paint but went elsewhere on the inside the ball goes out of play well dick what's the backcourt situation looking like to you i'll tell you Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game can't win without great guard play backcourt play dictates your team's success their play must be steady consistent controlling the tempo in a game distributing the ball scoring and pressuring on a defensive end they are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter he nails the shot. That's a 9 nothing run. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Picks off the pass. Gave it up. Takes away the pass. They work it around the perimeter. Nice high post screen. He shoots from long range. Knocks it down. Intercepted. Jumps in. Basket falls despite the contact. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player, and he made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. He intercepts it. The Black Knights have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. Great play to take that to the basket. Here's a double team. Moving it around the perimeter. He unloads a three. He drains the shot. The Black Knights are behind by 27. Right in the circle, 
He's money with the shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Three. He gets it to fall. The Hoosiers are ahead by 28. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Roll it back, fellas. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love him. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestle. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. Stolen ball. Look at speed. I tell you, man. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. Look at him now, Dick, celebrating with the cheerleaders. Now that's a spectacle. Hey, I think he's missed the versatile. Play some hoop, do a little dance. And we'll go to the free throw line. Gets it. Jumped in front to take it away. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Count that as a personal foul. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. For two. Nothing but nylon. Nice, smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Gave it up. Picked off. Tries for two, goes in. The replay's not even enough for this one. Nice deal there, but the offense gets the ball back. On the dribble, gives it up. Nice fake. Fakes it. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Here they come now on a turnover. For the bucket, it's good. He strips him clean. Jumps into the defender. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Dump it inside. Entry pass in the paint. There was no doubt about that one. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Kicking back outside. The fake. 
There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. And the ball goes out of play. For two. I love this guy hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. From three point territory, he hits the shot. That's why I love this game, Dick, for that reason alone. It's electrifying in here. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He'll attempt two shots. Free throw is good. Need to make that. Now the rebound. Fill the lanes. That's the only way to be able to get some fast break opportunities. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Shoots from left of the circle. Goes. On the inside. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Bob, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Jump hook from the low post. I did a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. They work the perimeter. High post screen. Off the rim and no good. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. And the ball goes out of bounds. Mr. Vitale, how about that State Farm drive of the game? Oh, Mr. Nestle, this one's superb. The ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play. Wow, what a play. Looking for a good shot. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. Oh, yes, the student body, always full of comedy and excitement. Picks off the lazy pass. This is the big time. He misses from long distance. Indiana completely outclasses their opposition. Well, they came into favorites, and they did not disappoint. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.